I want to profile another extremely successful Japanese trader who became famous for making over $17 million in under 10 minutes due to a mispricing error. Now, many people thought that he just got lucky, but over an eight year time frame, he managed to turn $15,000 of his own money into well over $150 million. In this video, I'm going to talk about his approach to trading and more importantly about how you can learn from his mindset to hit the big score. Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. I've been an active trader for over 21 years and a trader coach for the past 15 years. In my videos, I profile all the top traders in the world and teach you how to replicate their incredible success. I've been fortunate to train many successful traders. A month ago, I profiled a very successful Japanese day trader who made over $34 million shorting the Japanese stock market. In this video, I'm going to profile another successful Japanese trader who shares similar personality attributes like CIS. This Japanese trader referred to as BNF also profited big time during a period of time of volatility in the markets and has made a lot of money in bear markets. However, his claim to fame was when he took advantage of a trade when a trader working for Mizuho Securities made a fat finger error. The trader at Mizuho mistakenly tried to sell 610,000 shares at 1 yen per share in a recruiting company called Jcom which at that time had just completed an IPO, the trader actually had intended to sell one share at 610,000 yen. By the time this trader realized his mistake, he couldn't cancel the trade and traders like BNF pounced and brought as many shares as he could at one yen per share. At the end of the trading session, BNF ended up with a profit of over $17 million due to this clerical error. Now even though this trade netted him a lot of profits, this was only a small portion of the $150 million in what he has made in his trading career. Now let's go into his trading approach and how you can learn to trade like him. BNF's trading strategy is pretty simple. He likes to buy stocks when they have fallen a lot and are out of favor with investors. It's kind of like a bottom fishing approach but he doesn't look at a company's fundamentals to determine which company is undervalued, but rather he uses technical analysis and charts to determine when the right time is to get into these beaten down stocks. His trading style is to buy oversold stocks with the aim of profiting from an upward trend change in its price. He's not a long-term investor, but a swing trader who typically holds his stocks between two to six days However, sometimes he would hold it longer than a week depending on what the charts say. He thinks that bear markets are easier to trade and I don't disagree with him. Bear markets tend to have more volatility and offer more trading opportunities. As well, you usually see many bear market rallies, which we refer to sharp short-term price appreciation in the stock market, even though the general trend is still down. Now they are buying panics fueled by short covering and a fear of missing out on a recovery. Now let me give you an example. Here's a chart of the S&P 500 index, which measures the performance of the top 500 companies in the US stock market between 2007 and 2009. Now you can see here on the chart, you can see the number of times that the stock market has experienced a surge in prices and particularly the sharp percentage increases in a very, very short period of time. You can see here that the stock market here, even though the trend has been uh, following, you can see that in four days it rose 15.7%. Same thing here, in seven days it rose 18.7%. In 46 days it rose 24%. Uh, in seven days, it rose 8.8%. And again, you can see here, 8%, 13%, 6.5, 8.5, 3.7. .5, so what are the lessons you can learn from this trader's mindset and how he thinks about the financial markets? Let me give you one lesson here. 
focus and concentration. When BNF is trading, he's very focused and does not allow for any distractions. He's constantly monitoring his 30 to 70 positions in the markets and scanning for opportunities among his 600 to 700 stocks list. By seeing how his positions are performing, he can get a sense of market sentiment and trade accordingly. Lesson number two, view trading as a game. BNF views trading as a zero sum game where there is a winner and there is a loser. So if you decide to play this game called the stock market or financial market, then you play to win. BNF treats trading like a video game where you don't focus on how much money the game will make you, but rather on how you can win the game. Now, too often times we focus on the end result, which is how much money we will make or lose on our trades and not how we can execute this trade to perfection and win the trade. So viewing trading like a game would definitely change your perspective on how to approach your trades. Lesson number three, don't focus on the results. BNF had an excellent quote when he was interviewed about his trading success. He said that if you care about money too much, you cannot successfully trade. Now, to him, losing $100,000 can actually feel better than making $6,000 if the losing trade was a good trade and the winning trade was a bad trade. Now, the lesson to learn here is to focus on the trading process and, following, and follow the trading strategy rather than what the result of the trade is. Now, if you have a proven trading strategy, it should work over the long term and if it doesn't, then you exit the trade at a small loss. The last lesson is live a modest lifestyle. Now, BNF is worth over $150 million in net worth. And like fellow trader CIS, he lives a very modest lifestyle. You know, he doesn't feel a need to spend money on luxury items. And after his big score, he only bought two video game consoles. Uh, he, however, owns his own condo in Tokyo, where he trades from, and owns an office building for investment purposes only. Now, too often times, if you live a luxurious lifestyle, you feel you need to make enough money to support this lifestyle, and this would impact your trading decisions. So let me end this video with a question for you. So just imagine for a second, if you had a billion dollars, and had reached all your financial goals. How would this impact your trading if you were to continue trading? And I can bet you 100% that you would approach trading very, very differently. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there are three things you can do. First is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this, and hit the notification button so you'll be notified of future videos where I profile the best traders. Second, if you're looking to learn how you can be the next top trader, please go to my website, mikesur.com, to download my free ebook, Become the Next Millionaire, where I profile a few of my millionaire students. Lastly, if you're looking for a mentor and want to learn directly from me, please go to mikesur.com to apply to work with me.